Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. We've made it through the underground ruins to Toriel's home. Oh man, pie! Oh boy. Oh. Oh man, surprises. Oh boy. I got my own room. Look at this. Oh. Pie. The music is an interesting thing in this game, because the music is not only used to tell one area from another and set the mood, but it's also, even within the music, one thing connects to another. And socks. Water sausages. But the music can often even relate to other music, such as the music we hear are listening to now is actually a remix of music we've heard elsewhere. me. Okay. Well, let's see what else is going on in this house. It's downstairs. Okay. Okay, Toriel. Look at her just reading there. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I mean, a little kitchen, more pie. Pie is as big as my head. Gingerbread monster, so great. I want to see... I'm going to scope out a couple things. I want to scope out what's over here. Oh.
That's a big old place. How much money do I have on me? I have 55G. I'm gonna go buy me spider stuff. I'm gonna be right back. This may be a little while. I sure will. Oh. And we're back. So I got some spider cider. Yeah. What are these spiders doing? Like, I don't imagine they're... Like, they can't possibly be, like, killing each other. That's just weird. Spiders are weird. All right. I'm gonna see if I can go back down here again. I also picked up a toy knife that I'm going to equip. I should never need this, but it's nice to have something handy just in case. Okay. I don't think she'll actually let you go anywhere down there. She'll just keep coming in and eventually just keep getting on you about it. Hmm. Okay, at this point, we we need, I we kind of need to get out of here. There's not going to be much of a game. I like it here, though. This place is all right. Well, while she's gone, I don't know where she is, but I'm going to go down here. Sorry. I've gotta... Gotta do what I gotta do. She's done nothing but teach us to talk. Oh, I got hit. Hmm. So what you're doing here... We don't want to fight. This is Toriel, it's Goat Mom. Man, those are going. work somehow. Oh, what the crap? This is, this is, this is not going, this is not going well. I think we're starting to loosen her up though.
Okay, so I didn't do so hot that time around. Not doing it! Quit doing this attack! It's hard to dodge! Okay, I've got... I can take a couple more hits. Not going. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, son of a... I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Um, what do I got? I got a bandage. Oh, jeez, stop with this attack! This one's hard as crap to dodge! Oh, jeez. Jeez. Ah, oh, what the crap! Okay, um... <laughs> Have anything else? Oh, thank you. One I can dodge. I'm sure those couple that I'm having trouble dodging are easier to dodge than I'm making them out to be. But given that I've had like little to no experience dodging them, I'm. Not going. Now, I'm sure we could, but... Goodbye, go, Mom. I hope we see her again. I feel bad, but we gotta do what we gotta do. And what we gotta do is get out of here. You again.
that flower spoke of some interesting things. Specifically, that I would die and die and die until I perhaps killed out of frustration. In there, he's perhaps speaking to the player. Or perhaps he acknowledges that we can save and load. And so, Undertale begins proper. What we've played through up until now is actually the entirety of the demo that was released ages back. Now we enter the release game proper. Out here, outside of the safety of the ruins, we enter the realm where monsters live. If I do, will you not kill me? That is a very conveniently shaped lamp. attention to the lamp!
So Sans and Papyrus are going to be... Oh, we wouldn't want any of that. So this place has ended up not being quite as bad as we thought, but we do have an interesting dilemma in front of us between Sands and Papyrus. Until next time, everyone. When we contemplate the convenience of the shape of that lamp.